SCP-144 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-144 requires the presence of only one Foundation Observer to monitor and issue updates on the condition of SCP-144. The Tibetan Buddhist monks who maintain the site live in solitude and secrecy. A heavy mist condenses around the small mountain that hosts SCP-144, which itself resides in a small valley between two greater mountains, Mount Data Expunged and Data Expunged. This mist is present most of the year, and the thin rope itself is only fairly visible to the human eye within a distance of 3 kilometers. Air travel within a 70-kilometer radius has been restricted with the cooperation of the Chinese government. Description Located in a monastery atop a small Tibetan mountain, SCP-144 is a thin, taut hempen rope, only 1.2 centimeters thick, attached to a ring of jade bound to the floor of an atrium in the temple, known as base camp among researchers. The other end of SCP-144 extends straight upward many kilometers up into the sky, to a yet-to-be-explored satellite in geostationary orbit above the Earth at an altitude of about 39 kilometers, over 22 miles away, known as the Summit among researchers. Several times a year, a monk of the temple ascends up the rope several hundred meters in a ritual of spiritual enlightenment. The monks report that to this day, only one person by the name of Data Expunged has ever been killed during the ascension. Throughout the centuries, several climbers have disappeared, yet the monks believe that one day they will return, bringing greater understanding and enlightenment with them. Carbon dating of rope fibers put SCP-144 at just over 1400 years old. Foundation anthropologists believe that the rope and the tradition of climbing it began within the rituals of an ancient, dead religion before Emperor Songsang Gampo brought Buddhism to Tibet. At that time, it is believed that the rope was several kilometers long. The attendant monks say that the jade ring was added in the early 9th century by the Rapalkin to keep seasonal winds from picking up the rope and swinging it through the countryside. Several times a year, the head monk unties the rope from the loop of jade and repositions the knot. Research has shown that in recent years, the rope has moved skyward at a rate of about 180 centimeters per year and is slightly accelerating at a rate of a hundredth of a centimeter per year squared. With only a few hundred meters of rope left, the monks are unsure of what to do when it reaches the end. Some hope to add length by attaching separate sections of rope to the original, while others believe that new rope won't have the strength of the old. Research has been unable to explain how plant fiber rope has been able to survive 1400 years and maintain such tensile strength at such extreme temperatures and conditions of the upper atmosphere and space that people are able to climb it, let alone support its own enormous weight against itself, all 39 kilometers of rope. If the summit is accelerating away from Earth, its pull on SCP-144 is also unexplained. The summit has only been properly imaged by ground-based telescopes, which show the rope of SCP-144 going up and over the edge of a large asteroid-like rock, several hundred meters in width. Satellites have been unable to picture the opposite side of the summit. It has been reasoned that orbiting satellites are designed to image ground-based locations or distant space objects at much greater distances than other neighboring orbital satellites. Researchers disagree about why images of the dark side of the summit return blurry and unfocused, rendering the dark side unknown. Addendum number 144-4 Several Class D personnel were offered immediate release if they were to climb to the summit, if possible, and return. While multiple warnings were issued by the monks attending the rope, 
no resistance was offered. Of the six personnel who accepted, four returned to base camp complaining of difficulty breathing and lack of air. One slammed into base camp at terminal velocity, presumably after losing his grip from fatigue. And the last has not yet returned.